Hi, welcome to Sass of Sabrina. This is the channel where I try one new thing a week and post however it has turned out. I hope to inspire you to try something new of your own or make you laugh through however my stuff turns out. I post a new video every Tuesday. Please subscribe, it means the world to me. Thank you so much for all subscribers, viewers, and everyone who watches my videos. Thank you, I greatly appreciate your time. In this week's project video idea, I am trying paper quilling, an art form that has been around for centuries. Literally, you just have thin strips of paper and coil it, glue it, and then glue all the shapes together. There are endless shapes. If you look online, you will find a ton of information about how to, and there's quilling kits you could buy. It's just endless information. It's amazing. It's a pretty cool art form. Uh, I did not buy a kit because I thought I would try it first and then see how it goes. And I'm just gonna use the toothpick because that's what I read that you could substitute for. And I literally just used basic copy paper cut into about a centimeter wide. You can buy lengths up to 17 inch. I picked basic white. I kind of want to recreate this. So it has a whole bunch of shapes and filigrees. As far as glue goes, what I researched was you just need a glue that dries quickly, like with within a minute or so. I don't have that. I either have like white Elmer's glue that takes forever or my trusty old glue gun. So I'm gonna use my glue gun. I'll try to make this a little bit of a how-to, but I'm trying it for the first time myself. So I have no idea how it's gonna go. So let's get started and see what happens. Each quill shape has its own name. You basically need to learn the tight circle and then you can start creating any shape from there. Start rolling it, make sure you don't, in the hairdresser's world, we call it fish hook the end. So you have that end nice and tight. And then I did discover that in the quilling world, they call it tornadoing. You wanna make sure your ends are nice and tight and that it doesn't like funnel out. and try not to get interrupted. I very lovingly got interrupted and uh, lost everything and I, now I can't seem to get it nice and tight again. <laughs> and try not to lose your toothpick. Okay, so that would be the tight circle and you would literally glue it right there. Let's just do it. I don't think I wanna use a tight circle in my design, but you never know, I might need it at some point. That's way too much glue. Apparently the amount of glue is a huge factor. I saw a couple of videos that gave tips on the amount of glue to use and where to use it and how much and then tips on how to make sure that you don't use too much. Okay, so that is your basic shape. And once you have that down pat, you can create any basic shape. The one that I wanna start with is a square. So when I saw the people that use the tool, the tool actually has a slot that holds the end of the paper for you. And they literally just turned the tool and curled the paper in. And then you just have to hold as you go. This one where you're losing the toothpick all the time is, is not as tricky as it might look. When I cut the paper strips, I was just sitting with my daughter. We were just watching TV. So I could probably see if you just did the whole project like that. It can be quite relaxing. Measurements are easily found online. Like I measured the width of the strip and it said anywhere between three millimeters to 10 millimeters. It went up in like three, five, seven, ten 10 millimeter sizes. So tight circle, don't lose your end, but let it loosen up. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna let it loosen up a little bit more. That was a little bit more of a controlled amount of glue. And then you literally take each side and pinch. Pinch. So if you pinch too tight, you create a diamond shape, which I think I might have just done on a couple of the sides at least. But if you pinch ever so gently, then you've created a square. So there's S shapes, there's teardrop shapes, 
There's V scroll shapes, there's heart shapes, there's ones called marquees. The possibilities are endless. So I do want to create an S shape, but I did forget to mark the center point of that. So I'm just going to grab another paper that I probably won't scroll. Just use it as a marker so I know where my center point is. And then for the S scroll, you just have to make sure you're rolling the opposite direction. I just want to see what it, size it's like in relation to my square and get an idea of where I'm going with this. Okay, so I'm happy with that, with my S shape and then the mirrored S shape on the other side. Sorry, I was confused to see if it was actually mirrored or not, but yeah, it is. I'm gonna actually put the glue on the square or diamond actually in this shape. It's actually a diamond. And then line up my S shape with it. And try not to get your fingers in the glue. And then obviously you're gonna need a little dab between the S shapes. And I'm pretty sure there's a way that you could probably loosen that one tight coil up. So when you combine shapes, like a V scroll and a loose scroll and the tight circle, that's where I'm guessing you can create these like filigree style looks. So I wanna try to create one like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep rolling some paper. So for the V scroll, I'm pretty sure you can just go ahead and fold it because you're gonna have to eventually anyway. And then the V scroll, you roll outward because if you roll inward, it's called an open heart. And it looks like you roll it right down to your midpoint. I can see where it'd be a little bit quicker with the tool that holds the paper. The toothpick is working just fine. I don't even know if you actually the loose scroll? I highly doubt it. I think you literally just roll it and then let it be free and then glue it to your design. Don't quote me on any of this stuff. I did just a tiny little bit of research going by eyesight. So I think you just like let it poke it with a stick, let it uh, loosen all on its own. I'm pretty sure you can help shape it in, in any which way that you want. You could probably Let it be as loose or as tight as you want. Okay, I have them created and I have no idea how I want this to look. So I'm just gonna play around with the placement. This is really relaxing, I really like it. I think a lot of people would really enjoy this. Okay, so I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna make, create one more V and loose curl and put it together and try to tighten those loose curls back. Okay, so I have my four different things now. So I'm just gonna go and glue it right at the base so it's like a tighter V. Once again, I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do it or if it's a personal preference or whatnot. That's the way I want my look to be in the end. So I'm gonna tighten that up and then I'm gonna secure those two circles together. So I think I have like two points of contact there and then in the end glue those together and then repeat. Da! Try to pay attention to what you're doing and Spots. It's very forgiving. You can literally just reshape it as you need it. So I'm gonna create four hearts and see if that's gonna fill that space in there. And then I wanna do like a second layer of a triangle, which I still don't know how I'm gonna create that. I do have to look back online for a couple different shapes. So far I like it. So for the heart, I'm just gonna mark my end, and then for the heart, you roll in. That's a little upsetting, I don't actually mind that. I'll see how the other ones turn out, and then I might just fluff them to look the same all in the end. Okay, so here are all my hearts. This one is still a little bit on the weird side, but they're easy to just change them as you go. So I'm gonna glue those right into each spot. So in the end, I think the best shape to make is just a marquee, a bunch of marquees. I have no idea how many. So once again, you roll your entire strip of paper. Looks like a little mini toilet paper roll. <laughs> okay, and then let it loosen. 
I just wanted that center a little looser. So I just wanted all the spaces to be a little bit more even. And then you just pinch the sides. So just, I'm gonna repeat that all so many times. Okay, so in the end, I think I calculated right. I think I needed 16 altogether. They're varied lengths, but that really doesn't bother me. I think that's the beauty of this art form is they can be a little bit different. So I'm gonna gather up one of each size type thing, like extra large, large, medium, and small, and glue them all together in varied ways. And then once I have those four dried, I'm gonna glue them together there and then repeat the same for each side. Ah, I'm off center from my center diamond. Oh well, no one else will know. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do a couple more layers. I'm probably going to put a couple of the loose curls and the marquees together and a couple more hearts and try to make the hearts a little bit more predominant like a heart. So I created three loose curls. I think I'm going to glue them so that they're all kind of like curled up on each other. So kind of like that. So in the end, yeah, I do actually like them with being in a row. This one where it, the middle one popped out above is kind of cute also. Just vibe in this one. And these are just the basic shapes. There's way more options that you can do with these. So I decided to play around with the different options that I had of gluing these together. This is all completely glued together. I actually don't want to use that one in the end, but I just wanted to play with each thing. So I am still going to be using them when there's just the three of them glued together. Just started rolling and rolling and rolling. That's all the strips I have left. And rolling and rolling and rolling. So I've got uh, probably enough to do at least my next row. Making progress. I have all my little curly cues glued together. I've started a few marquees. I'm gonna need a lot more than that. I'm gonna glue, glue a curly cue to each corner and then there'll be one filling in in the center. I'm gonna do that off camera. I really just don't think you guys need to see me glue stuff. I'll just keep updating you as it makes progress. But so far, it, it still just looks the same. I really like this. I highly suggest you try it. Still curling, still gluing. So I added a fourth one to my creations on the second layer. These ones on the corner are already glued. And then now I'm just playing around with filling in between and then it will get another row of marquees on the outside of that. So in the end I'm not going to put the marquee row around the outside but this is how my first time doing quilting turned out. I liked this project and hobby and craft time, whatever you want to call it. Honestly, it was really relaxing. It was a lot of fun. The possibilities and the creations that come up with are endless. I hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't stop. Don't, don't, don't stop.